You are a female CEO of an engineering and construction company that is a Fortune 500 company. That basically makes you a unicorn. <laughs> So, and you're very passionate about bringing more women into STEM fields and particularly in positions of leadership. There's a lot of talk about what the workplace needs to do and how the workplace needs to change, but what can women do themselves? You know, yeah. I mean, I know you've thought a lot about this. Yeah, yeah. The little things that women need to do to really uh, put themselves in the right positions to really excel. Yeah, so there's a couple of things we talk about in our organization about that. The first thing is that for whatever reason, it's not just in our industry, we see this across industries across the world, um, women have a tougher time asking for the next assignment. Um, I think in a lot of ways women feel that if they do a good job uh, and they excel and they do all the things they need to do, they'll be noticed uh, and they'll be tapped on the shoulder for the next opportunity. I always thought that. <laughs> and, and really, to be honest with you, in most organizations, uh, particularly as you're rising through the ranks, it's the people that raise their hands. They get the next opportunity, particularly because they have a drive and they're accomplished, et cetera. So we do tell both men and women, but particularly from a, from a, a social perspective, tell our women, please make sure that you understand what your goals are and that you raise your hand, you make your goals known. But there's a second part of that that's really critical, and that is get the feedback you need to understand your absolute areas of strength, but to also understand where you can improve and perform better and how you really are, are um, viewed as a leader, how your effective leadership can become better and better. We and is do. that something that men do well and women don't do yeah, well? We, it's interesting. We find, um, we, we th I think people in general probably overestimate their leadership capabilities. Mm -hmm. we've, we've seen this in, in, in research all over the place. They overestimate their leadership capabilities and underestimate their leadership impact on people. Sometimes it's positive, sometimes negative. Mm -hmm. uh, but also I think most people are generally aware, but maybe not acutely aware uh, of how they impact others, particularly when they impact them in not such a positive way. We do find that it is harder for women to get honest feedback. And, Why um, is that? And it, it, it's an interesting uh, dilemma, um, and it's again, not in our company only. I think there is a, an old stereotype that probably is still working its way through the system, maybe with millennials this will change, that people don't want to hurt women's feelings. Mm -hmm. um, People also don't seem to want to want to give positive feedback sometimes. We find this from women to women as well as from men to women, that a little bit of positive feedback, not much negative feedback in areas to improve. And so one of the things that I tell, and I think that happens with men too, but for whatever reason, it's harder for women to really push to get to the get broad feedback. feedback so that they can get a true 360 view of how they're perceived, and particularly how their leadership skills are perceived so that they can move forward, try new things, do better. So we talk an awful lot about having to get brutally honest feedback early in your career so that you can really accelerate your strengths, do well in the things you like to do, and move forward. Well, it's funny because I do think women actually respond to feedback maybe even better than men do. So if you only, if, if we only got it, you know, women yeah. would would be able to make those changes. That yeah, that's right. And we do we do find it, you know again all genders and in, in, in different job types uh, have different responses, but we do find that when women get that feedback, they tend to work hard on it uh, and they tend to excel. Mm -hmm.